so the whole point of Inked for a Cause is, you know, different people that are doing like charitable activity. So I think it was about two years ago. You did not repeat it too. Can you tell me a little bit about why you chose to do that campaign? I've been doing ads with Peters for a while. I, I raised my daughter, Nadia, who's 22 now, as a vegetarian. Her mom's been a vegan for, God, at least 22 years, you know? And um, I just, you know, I don't, I, I just, you know, I can't say I'm a vegetarian because I'm not. But I, I just, I agree with the, the part of the animal cruelty part, you know, that's where I come in and I support more, and I, and I that's where I, my input is in, you know. I, though I was a vegetarian for about eight years, eight, a little longer, but I kind of, you know, went back, but I just don't like animal cruelty, period. I feel bad for even a homeless dog. I don't feel bad for a homeless person, because I figured they put themselves in that situation. But a dog, you know, who the hell put him in that situation? You know, somebody threw him out, you know. What other, like, if it comes down to it, when it comes from your gut, what is the most important social cause that you think that people can support? I think the most important, you know, I, I, I think that's, that's, a, that's a good question because there's so much, there is, there is really so much. And, and you know what, in, in, in my whole career, I've realized that, you know, you can't really change the world, but you can make a difference. I think every little thing and every little way of, of, of support, some charity, or some like I used to do my my runs at CBGBs to for the terminally ill children that were dying. I would do a Christmas show and, and go go to Toys R Us with my daughter and go Christmas shopping like it was like Christmas for like all these cards and we just go and bring it to the hospital. And I would do my show, my annual show every Thanksgiving for the shelter because when I when I lived in in the streets I would go to shelter in East so I always went back and did that I don't live in New York anymore it's been three years but I always love doing those things I think every little thing really helps in every little form I don't think anything is more of importance than anything else I just think if you make a difference that's very important and it'll make a huge difference for someone else in the future what do you think when it comes down to the punk hardcore scene is there, do you think that there is more of a responsibility or do you have a particular statement? Well, I mean, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think part of being in this scene movement is like I say, it's because we wanted to have our voice, we wanted to have our statement and we wanted to make that difference. We just didn't want to walk in line with society. We just didn't agree with everything. So I think this is a fantastic and a great outlet to speak your voice, voice your opinion, you know, and, and, and make that difference and do something, you know? Good. Or else you're just wasting your time with this music. A lot of people get into this music and they think it's art, it's great, whatever, and they don't listen to the lyrics. Agnostic front lyrics are very important. So, um, speaking of AF, what's happening next for AF or Disasters? You're always so fucking busy. Yeah, go, I go back what's next? Forth. I was just doing some Disasters dates this Last weekend, I played in uh, Los Angeles, I played in Phoenix, and then this weekend I'm here in New York with Agnostic Front. So I go back and forth. Being I'm closer to the West Coast now, I do more disaster stuff that way. But I've been demoing disaster songs. I've written eight songs, and they're, they're absolutely amazing. I really love them. I love the direction, I love everything that's going on. That wise, and with Agnostic Front, we're going to start working. So if people want to hear the new disasters tunes, where can they go? Well, they're going to have to wait. So we have to finish them. It's just demo versions, but they're really good. They're, I'm su surprisingly really good. Of course, it's a, it's what I like to do. A lot of street punk, rock and roll. Reese is still in the band, yes. Reese is me, and Reese. he's just had a baby, right? He has a little baby boy, six months old. Dallas, six or seven months old right now. So, uh, and then uh, my drummer, my newest drummer, JP. JP is also a fellow New Yorker. He's filled in with uh, left. I think he plays with leftover crack here and there and stuff. Uh, he's my drummer down in Phoenix, and he's got a little kid. So we, everybody in the band's got a family, except for my new bass player Roy. He doesn't have a family. His family is with us.